3D Printing the Future is a new exhibition at the Science Museum London and it's all about how 3D printing is driving innovation. We really think that 3D printing has inspired an explosion of creativity and this whole mass display of over 600 objects that you'll see in the exhibition really kind of exemplifies that. But we wanted to dig down beyond the flash and the hype of 3D printing and really focus on how 3D printing might change people's lives. So we focused on three key areas, industry, medicine, and how access to 3D printing is inspiring more and more people to get involved and to innovate. There are some really fantastic objects on display. We've got some really exciting ones in the medical area, like quite unexpectedly 3D printed tablets that might be able to treat someone with a serious illness who might normally have to take, say, 20 tablets a day. Perhaps in the future they might be able to take just one 3D printed tablet that precisely lays down different active ingredients that can release into the system over a matter of hours. So one tablet could replace 20 because of 3D printing. And that's something that could really change somebody's life. At the moment, we've got lots of displays that kind of lead into our areas, the things that 3D printing already does. In industry, you already make prototypes of 3D printing. In medicine, you already make a lot of things that are already inside people, like hips and orthotics and things that are used to treat people. And already, we know there are a lot of things that people make using 3D printers in their homes. And we've got a display of lots of those in our mass display. In the future, 3D printing could get really exciting. Um, it gives engineers and designers a lot of design freedoms to create things that they wouldn't necessarily be able to create any other way. And the future of printing in different materials is really exciting. For instance, we could print with somebody's own cells to make tissue, and perhaps even in the future, organs. My name is Rowan and I work here at Science Museum, and uh, I'm one of the content developers on the 3D printing exhibition you see behind me. We've been preparing this exhibition over the course of about nine months and in that time we've managed to acquire somewhere in the region of six to seven hundred objects uh, for this mass display. This particular section is about access to 3D printing so we're really highlighting what um, 3D printing has brought to innovators and inventors around the world um, and the amazing things they've managed to make because of this technology. One of the examples we have is Martin Harris's uh, racewear products. What these are are customised uh, GPS holders for bicycles. You can walk into a shop and buy perhaps a very limited range of attachments for a bicycle that holds a certain gadget to it. And uh, what Martin's done is use the power of 3D printing to be able to make a range of things that can be produced far cheaper than they could if they were produced by traditional methods of manufacture. Another one of my favourite things in this case is um, these uh, crayon creatures, what these are, children's drawings that an artist has sort of puffed up into uh, a 3D shape, kind of like blowing up a balloon. It's not repainted, you get the actual child's brush strokes on these and they're great little keepsakes. One of probably the most important things we have is Robo Hand. So this was a collaboration between two people in different parts of the world uh, to produce a very low cost and open source design for a prosthetic hand. Uh, Richard Van Az is the uh, principal designer behind it and his idea was that you could have um, a hand that can be scaled up to any size so children could use one, adults can wear them and it can be customised so depending on what your need for replacement fingers is uh, you can add one, two, three, four etc um, and then print it out on a low cost, low cost 3D printer. I'm not an expert myself but in talking with the experts and in investigating this over the course of nine months it seems to us that the, the future of 3D printing is about greater access amongst other things. As more people get 3D printers and as more people um, discover the potential of them, the amount of innovations and inventions that's coming from them is just explosive. Um, you're, you're finding people from all corners of the world producing devices and all sorts of things that enrich their lives, that can do things for the environment, that can uh, help people with sort of different medical issues. And this isn't all coming from sort of big business, this is coming from individuals on the ground and it's fantastic.